Hello guys, it's me Carnfet, this is Acap Carnfet, and welcome back to another edition of Forza Horizon 5. So, this is the Made in Mexico story line, which is part one. So, I know it's only nine minutes, but I tri trimmed it out from ten to nine, so that's how it got to like deleting the boring parts. So, yeah, there's no more. No, none of that rewind <laughs> that I had to end it out, so you'll know that I got those three stars the right way. And it took me a few attempts to make sure I get it right, get it done, and make sure I know what I'm doing. So, so most of the time when I'm actually playing a uh, storyline mode in Forza Horizon 5, I don't do the path. I just go for the cornfields and actually got some uh, trees, you know, and, and if you have a tree in front of you and you're stuck, you're screwed, so I know nine minutes will, uh, not going to take your time, but yeah, yeah, let's just, I'll just comment here on this one video of me driving a, uh, Unknown car that I know of, but I should have done my research, but yeah, forget that. Just here to have fun, and the reason why I haven't done Forge Horizon 5 in a while because they, don't, they haven't done a DLC expansion yet, and that's 10 years anniversary thing, and the donut media content, which is it just came in the, this week, so I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, perfect. Yeah, I'm mumbling. I'm sorry. I'm just <laughs> kind of amazed that I've had plenty of free time just to do anything, you know. And yep, see those three stores. That means I'm actually there getting another Xbox achievement, so I'm here for the achievements, not to screw around for hours, just trying to do something, you know, like what are you out there to do, you know, so I think I have part two of Made in Mexico, but I'm not sure. So I'll st stop here on my commentary. So make it happen, Carnival. I'll have a Mexico good evening with Pisa. With Romero is about the Baja One Thousand. You are very perceptive, my friend. This dune buggy was the first car to race here. Let's take it for a spin. The Baja One Thousand is probably the most prestigious race held in Mexico. Do you know how it all started? I assume the Myers Max has something to do with it. Correct again! The Baja 1000 started as a very elaborate marketing campaign for the car you're driving. But let me start from the beginning. On the 22nd of March, 1962, Dave Eakins and Billy Robertson did the first real Baja run. They went from Tijuana to La Paz in 39 hours 56 minutes on new Honda CL72 Scrambler motorcycles. So they probably were a bit sore afterwards. They got a lot of media coverage though. A year later, Meyer started to work on a prototype. Buggy he called Old Red in his garage in Newport Beach. It was based on the VW Beetle and it paved the way for what we know as buggies. Cars that are built for off-roading using the Beetle as a donor chassis. But I guess they wanted even more publicity because in April 1967, Myers decided to make an attempt at breaking Eakin's record. And it worked! Myers did it in 34 hours and 45 minutes, beating Eakin's for more than five hours. The rivalry was known as Buggy Meets Bike in Baja. Sounds like something you did back in the UK, doesn't it?
Myers Manx became an overnight sensation as a result, and suddenly they were friendly races all across the Baja. It wasn't long before they realized they needed something more organized, and that was Mexican 1000. Guess who won the inaugural event? Fast Max? You're on fire today! Yes, in 27 hours and 38 minutes. The official race was 100 miles shorter than the original route, but it's still impressive. The Mexican 1000 was later renamed to the Baja 1000 and is run to this day. Turn around when it is safe to do so. In 200 yards, turn left. yards to turn left. I love that story. My abuela used to tell it to me once a year. Hey, hey, come quick. Papa Fernando needs your help. Uh, okay. I'll be right there. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share that comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona Night 5. You'll have a great day and peace out.